Hi, everybody. Hello. You're so nimble. Not really. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. So, so right there. Yep. You could be doing anything with your time, folks. We but appreciate you, you coming to see us. You chose us. Yeah. They did. <gasps> you choo choo choose me? Yeah. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that like button. There's other things too, right? I don't know which way it is on the screen. I don't know. It's one of these. Looks like one of these. There's a subscribe button. Yeah, then there's a bell. There's a bell. Can I... It's shaped exactly Heart like you. a bell, not like that. Heart you. That's actually not shaped like anything. Heart, yes. Yeah, so sure if you. your heart looks like that, you need to see a cardiologist. I do. If I'm going to die. Young. Ha! <laughs> die yeah. young and save your soul. Anyway. Sorry, I had to see that. In the meantime, let's drink. <laughs> ah, what are we drinking now? Oh, I don't know. Crown Royal, I think. Yeah? Yeah. A couple Crown Royals back here. One or two. Mm. Or ten. Excessive amounts of Crown Royal. Now we have this. Ooh. Winter wheat. Winter wheat. What's the mash bill? Do you know? I do. Tell us. No. It's a secret. All right, then. Keep your secrets. Good. It's not. Uh, it's 51% winter wheat. 39% corn, 10% barley. Okay. Yep, math adds up. Cool. Winter wheat. Winter wheat. What the hell does that mean? Um, it's from the Noble Collection, and I can read you nothing except that it is distilled from winter wheat and fine grains, a product of the Crown Royal Distilling Company. Okay. 45%. Okay. okay. Winter wheat is planted late, and basically... Like in the winter? Well, in the fall, so... It um, is in its vegetative state throughout the winter and resumes growing in the spring. That's my understanding, based on years ago. <laughs> I'm there, no research and no Yeah, email. so I'm just going off memory. We just want to tell you what it tastes like because it's in and around 100 bucks. So, yeah. Smells good. Let's see. All right. It's very earthy to me. Um, a very... Very stone fruit like vibe, like a, a peach pit or like a plum pit, maybe. Not quite plum. I get a bit of that banana, that isomel acetate. Yeah, I could see almost like a, a deep fried plantain. More like a mushy pudding, like a banana bread pudding. Isomel acetate. Isomel acetate. Write that down. <laughs> Don't ask how to spell it, though. Can we put the correct spelling here just for people? I already did. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I missed the little flash on the screen there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, nose, I'm liking this nose. Yeah. Yep. It's got a little bit of harshness there that I uh, rather enjoy. It's very much uh, wheat-like in which it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pleasant. It's a pleasant harshness. What, what are you finding on the palate? <laughs> good mmm mmm like pleasantly surprised oh that. yeah that's yummy uh, uh. wow well crown royal. <laughs> royal you got and done it what did you expect um what's that over there Josh oh yeah it's an elephant you want to talk about it oh well I um I usually shit on uh, Canadian whiskey mm -hmm. and that's definitely an elephant in this room I, I I don't like the sweetness usually. I don't like the pleasantness. And it's not that it's corn. I like corn whiskey. And this is only, what, 39% corn? Yeah. This is delightful. I like that. We should all talk about the price. Now, the elephant in the room for this one was huge. Okay? That one's 200 bucks-ish. This one is not. This is uh, half that. This is 100 bucks, yeah. Comes in a lovely purple bag. Probably came in a box. It remember. did. It did come oh, in a box. Oh, a lovely tin. I, I threw that out instantly. I don't fuck around with tins. I don't have room for tins and boxes and shit. Ain't nobody got time for no. that. No. Nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I got time for this. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Um... I mean, we'll do a rundown later, but I, I'll just say between this and its double priced 18 year, I take this and hands down. Wow. All day long. Wow. I'm, I'm a little bit taken back. I went in with a preconceived notion 
of Crown Royal. You were pleasantly surprised? Being that I don't drink a hell of a lot of it and I don't care for it too much, but... The people I know that drink Crown mix it. It's Crown Coke. Yes. I wouldn't mix this. I wouldn't dream of it. No. Well, I mean, maybe I'd try it if someone was mixing, but wouldn't bother. you don't, don't need to. Own. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it'd be like that sometimes, eh? Yeah. Right? Some people don't think the universe would be like it is, but it do. Dooby dooby do. Mm. Well, there's not much else to say about this. Is 100 bucks is worth 100 bucks as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Beautiful bottle. Crown Royal worth the price. Beautiful cork. Yeah. You want? Oh yeah. Big, heavy base. Yeah. Do love me a heavy base. We were talking about maybe doing this rocks glasses because we've got mashing rocks glasses. Mm. But uh, maybe when we do a live rundown of all these, you can join us for that. Yep. Yeah. Great. Cool. Tasty stuff. Well done, Crown Royal. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, homie. Cheers, Doc. Cheers, Evans. Cheers, y'all. All right.